Welcome back to Hot Rod High School. In today's episode, we're going to be using this battery load tester to test alternator output and starter motor draw on this 2008 Acura. So coveralls on, safety glasses on, let's go to work. Okay, as in a few other tests, the starter motor draw test is a test that performs with the engine cranking, but the engine not starting. So we're gonna go ahead and remove fuse number 19, which we can see goes to the fuel pump so that this engine will crank over, but not start. Now that the engine has been disabled, we can hook up our electronics tester and perform our test. So we'll take the red cable out of our electronics tester. And we're gonna hook that up to the positive side of the battery. Positive side of the battery will usually have a red covering on it of some type or at the very least, they'll have a little plus sign on there telling you which side to hook it to. So red one to the positive. And then the black one over to the negative. And now we should be able to get a voltage reading. And right now there shouldn't really be any amperage traveling through it. So we'll just go ahead and adjust that amps gauge. It's kind of moving all over the place. So we'll call that close enough. Okay, the last cable that we need to hook up is going to be this inductive cable. It's going to tell us how much amperage is traveling through the system. So here we are showing the positive battery cable. And if we follow this cable here, we can see that it leads right down to the starter motor. So this is the correct cable that we need to clamp onto in order to test the amount of amperage coming out of this circuit. So we're going to take and hook our inductive clamp around this cable. We want to make sure that we're not clamped onto the actual cable. We want to be around the cable. And you'll notice there the direction that the arrow is pointing. So that arrow is pointing away from the battery, running down the cable toward the starter motor. So we wanna put that, that arrow going in the direction of the flow of electricity. And right now electricity is gonna be flowing out of our battery and into our starter motor. So now that everything's hooked up and the vehicle's disabled, we can perform the test. Okay, I've moved my electronics tester so that I can see it while sitting in the vehicle. Once again, the positive wire is hooked up to the positive, the negative to the negative, that inductive clamp around the main battery cable, the arrow pointing toward the starter motor in the direction of the flow of electricity. Now all I gotta do is crank the engine over and observe my readings while the engine is cranking. I wanna see how low the voltage goes to and how high the amperage goes up to. I'm not gonna look at that initial amperage number. It'll spike initially. And then I wanna see what it's gonna be at when it levels out a little bit. And as always with these things, make sure not to crank the engine over for more than 15 seconds as you could do damage to the starting system. So we're gonna crank the engine over I'll look at it once and get my voltage measurement, and I'll crank the engine over again and get the amperage measurement. So I saw the voltage measurement drop down to 11.7, 11.76. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that down now. And I will crank the engine over one more time to see how high the amperage goes up to. Okay. So it looked like my cord 
come unplugged from my amp meter there. So let me go ahead and do this one more time and get that good amperage reading. Okay, so I got my amperage reading and I will say it was over 100 amps. I'm not gonna give the exact number because I would like you guys to be able and go through and do this test yourself. But that is doing a starter motor draw test on this Acura. So we're seeing once again, how low the voltage goes down to while the engine's cranking and how high the amperage goes up to while the engine's cranking.